Hello and welcome to the award-winning Waterman Wellness, your pathway to whole person health, body, mind, and spirit. I'm your host, Kristen Ludeke. We have plenty of healthful information featuring local experts, including when this Tavares chaplain's faith was tested, she explains that it ultimately strengthened her trust. Her story is coming up. How do you know which orthopedic surgeon is right for the job? Stay tuned to learn what to ask from a local specialist. If you've decided to lose weight but can't find the method that works for you, you'll want to stay tuned. We have a solution that works. First, our top story. Today, a Eustace man is grateful for the quick action of his coworkers who saved his life with the help of an amazing device. I was uh, in one of the courtrooms working as a court bailiff. I was working with another officer and uh, it was right after noon when I realized that uh, we normally put water on the, on the tables. And I said, I'll go run downstairs. I went down the elevator and I went into a hallway when I started not feeling too well. I just got really, really dizzy. And that's actually the last thing I remember is I, I went black. I heard a call come over the radio. We had an officer down in the location I come, I responded. I was the first one I seen, I seen uh, Shane passed out on the uh, floor. Another deputy responded with the AD from hearing the call. After I checked Shane, found out he wasn't breathing, no heartbeat, I started CPR out immediately. The other deputy, when he showed up, uh, between the two of us, we hooked Shane up to the AD. Stay calm, follow these voice instructions. Make sure 911 is called now. When it said clear, we took our hands off Shane. He, it shocked him. Basically, so when the patient has a cardiac arrest, this device is very uh, friendly to be used. I will tell you, shock the patient or do not shock the patient because the machine will know we can, if the patient has a rhythm or not, and if it's a rhythm, they require a defibrillatory therapy. Those arrhythmias can happen just spontaneously, and sudden cardiac death or cardiac arrest probably claims over half a million lives in the U.S. alone every year. Whenever somebody collapses, you need to check for the patient, be sure the patient is either awake or alert or is having a spontaneous breathing. If not, they should start chest compressions and call 911 right away. 911 will take some time to get, and the brain is very valuable. The brain needs to be receiving oxygen. No, if there is a lack of oxygen for more than four minutes, probably that patient, even though it can be resuscitated, probably will have permanent brain damage. Uh, a couple days after Shane went to the hospital. We got notified by the doctors that it was definitely without the AED, Shane wouldn't have died. Matthews and Predmore say they received AED training, although the machine prompts make it easy to use. Several officers that I worked with were given awards, life-saving awards for, for saving my life. And I got up and I spoke and I said, how do you thank somebody that has saved your life? I, I don't know. I don't know to this day how you do that other than say obviously thank you, but that doesn't really touch it. You'll find a number of heart health resources when you visit the website adventhealthheartwaterman.com. You've likely heard someone say, if something doesn't seem right with your body, go to the doctor. A Eustace woman is thankful that she paid attention to the symptoms that ultimately led to a sepsis diagnosis. It was not even a, a little bump, it was just like a spot that was sore. By the time I went to bed that night, Sunday night, it was like I couldn't even lay still, it was hurting so bad. So when I got up Monday, it was like I could barely move or stand up straight because it was hurting so bad and it was over a wide part of the lower part of my back. Kathy Laura went to the Advent Health Waterman Emergency Room. They took blood tests. They was like, okay, well, we're gonna have to admit you because we're gonna have to do further testing on this. He thought it was an abscess, but he said he really won't know until he go in and, you know, take a look and see what it was. And when he came back, he said it was well, after the surgery and everything. He said he think it was a um, boil that was beginning. He said basically it was an uh, infection that was resistant to other antibiotics. And they had to find the right one that will get it. Doctors told Laura that the infection was sepsis, a dangerous condition that can cause a variety of symptoms. Sepsis is a broad representation of an infection 
that's caused by a bacteria or a virus that is leading you to have the septic manifestations. Sepsis can describe anything from having a sore throat or an ear infection because you are septic. You have a bacteria that's not where it should be. You have a white cells that are trying to fight that bacteria. And the earlier and quicker we can respond to your sepsis, the better the results are. Late sepsis uniformly, very, very poor outcomes, very poor outcomes. Laura, who is nearly recovered, says she felt relief soon after the infected area was surgically removed and antibiotics were in her system. They were very, very, very kind, very helpful, very nice. It was like, you know, you have all these things going on in your head, what's going on, and you'd be on the ease and stuff, but they gave me this peace. They made me feel like I was okay, that I was going to be taken care of. Learn more about the critical care services at Advent Health Waterman by visiting the website on your screen. Next, choosing to have surgery to help with joint pain is a big decision. How do you make sure the surgeon is the right one for the job? I had discomfort with my knee and I knew it was time to have something done because I couldn't do anything more for myself and I attended several different seminars, two of which were Dr. Ranathi, and I really liked what he had to say. After consulting with Advent Health Waterman's orthopedic surgeon, John Radnathi, Aang decided to have robotic arm assisted total knee replacement surgery. It's kind of like hiring, I own businesses, and I've hired a lot of people in my life, and he had all the right answers. Robotic. Uh, assisted joint replacement, it really represents the latest, greatest technology that's hitting the joint replacement field. The fact that we at Advent Health Waterman have been behind this trend for six, seven, eight years now and well ahead of the curve. Uh, that there's no hospitals in Central Florida, there's no, and I'm, there's no hospitals that have the, anything close to the experience we have with robotics at our institution and I'm proud of that. Certainly experience is important. Um, going to a surgeon that has done a lot of procedures. I think the staff that the surgeon works with, whether it's the hospital staff, the office staff, I think that is really important. And my dad was a family doc that was great at Bedside Manor and I think he taught me personally a lot about the importance of Bedside Manor, so I think that's important. Now recovered, Ng says he's resumed the active lifestyle he and his wife enjoy. I'm doing all the golfing a couple times a week. I'm playing pickleball and tennis at least twice a week. And I'm doing everything. Learn more about how you or your loved one can get joint pain relief locally by visiting the website on your screen. It's time to take a short break, but we'll have plenty more when Waterman Wellness continues. A cancer survivor explains how a local hospital provided more than just medical care to help her through her difficult journey. You'll find out about local programs that make it easier for you to adopt a healthier lifestyle. And it wasn't an ambulance that pulled up at Advent Health Waterman. Coming up, hospital visitors enjoyed a dose of racing excitement. Check out Waterman Wellness Magazine for even more health and wellness information. You can arrange for home delivery of the magazine by visiting watermanwellness.com. Plus, you'll find a listing of specialists featured in this episode. October Breast Cancer Awareness Month is around the corner. You'll want to check out these fun and educational local events. The community is welcome. Don't go away. Waterman Wellness will be right back. And now the Creation Health Tip of the Month. Deep regular rest restores your health and creates a sense of well-being. Today, reduce or eliminate stimulants like TV, radio, internet, or caffeine before bedtime. Welcome back to the award-winning Waterman Wellness, your pathway to whole person health, body, mind, and spirit. I'm Kristen Ludeke. A cancer diagnosis can leave you feeling frightened and helpless. In Lake County, there is a specially trained team whose sole job is to help you through the cancer journey. There are two of us, and we're both oncology nurse navigator certified generalists. I've been called a hand holder. I've been called many different things. 
but we're a point of contact for the patient and their family during their journey. I unfortunately have had many members of my family go through cancer and I saw what it was like when they didn't have anybody with them besides family to assist them, to educate them, to, to assist them in different ways. Katrina Grady of Wildwood chose the Cancer Institute at Advent Health Waterman after her cancer diagnosis because of the care her mother received years ago. Aside from the medical treatment, Grady says the cancer care navigators helped give her peace of mind. It was a program out there that helped you with um, paying your bills and all that. She got me all the information, she got the ball rolling and everything just fell in place. I mean, it was very helpful. And Miss um, Ireland, she's such a sweetheart. I walked in, I had like the goddess necklace on. I was bald headed and I had all the little flower things on my head. And she called to me, she said, I'm not gonna call you Katrina or Miss Grady. I wanna call you goddess. There's a variety of things that we do to try to make the process easier for treatment. Sometimes there's financial needs that patients have that we can help find resources for them. If they're having trouble getting to their appointments or if there's issues with uh, medication or uh, nutritional needs and things like that. It's been just a wonderful positive experience to be able to, to be a part of um, people's lives. Any way that I can support people through that process, it just keeps me going because if I can prevent patients from experiencing barriers, um, if I can help just one, one person to prevent them from experiencing fear, anxiety, added stress, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm happy. The Cancer Care Navigation Services are free to the community and you can learn more about the resources they provide by visiting adventhealthcancerwaterman.com. The Tavares Hospital is committed to providing extensive health and wellness support to the community. Advent Health Waterman has two educational programs that offer proven results for attendees. First, the Diabetes Self-Management class is for anyone who has a diabetes or pre-diabetes diagnosis. 20 years ago, when you were diagnosed with diabetes, many people thought that their life was over, that their lifespan would be shortened, that they would have terrible complications. And science now shows us that, that if you control your blood sugar by diet, exercise, carb counting, taking the appropriate medications, then actually you can live a normal, healthy lifestyle just like anyone. We talk about lots about food and meal planning and carbohydrate counting. We talk about exercise. We also talk about metering and blood sugars and where those goals should be. We talk about troubleshooting. When things start to look bad, what you can do to correct that. The five-week course is offered Monday mornings and evenings in the Conry Creation Health Center. The cost is $45. Our Choose to Lose is a new program for our community and it is eight weeks of two hours each. We incorporate things that people don't really normally talk about during a, a weight loss program. We talk about food and meal planning and exercise, but everybody knows that. What we also incorporate is how important water is and how important it is for stress reduction and even how sleep deprivation can make it more difficult to lose weight. So we touch upon all those topics and incorporate it in. And we like you to keep logs, so you're gonna actually journal, and so you're gonna be able to retain that information. What we find is that one person in a family comes to a program for weight loss, is that you bring that information home. So it not only is good for the person who came to the program, but also for the spouse and any of the children that are in the home, Choose to Lose will be offered on Wednesdays beginning September 11th at 5.30. The eight-week course costs $50. Registration is required for both courses and you can do so by visiting adventhealthwaterman.com. We all experience times when our faith is tested. It can be unsettling. Next, Advent Health Waterman Mission Development Director Candice Huber shares how some apply the creation health principle of trust to help them feel whole. When we talk about creation health, it is one of the ways in which the Advent Health System has defined whole person living. Choice, rest, environment, activity, 
trust in God, interpersonal relationships, outlook, and nutrition, all of these help us to understand whole person living physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Sabine Vitell trusts in God to make her feel whole. She shares what she does when that trust is tested. So as long as I can remember, uh, I've heard about God and faith. Oftentimes what happens is when you're, you face a crisis, and I think you begin questioning things. So at 10 years old, <laughs> my parents got divorced. And uh, that's the earliest I can remember questioning God, the existence of God, and wanting there to be a God. And uh, I remember testing him out and uh, leaving out a plate of cookies. It's kind of what you do for, for Santa, and I figure if it worked for Santa, it could probably work for God. And I told God, all right, I know you're not going to let me down. And when I woke up the next morning, the cookies were still there. And it was an incredible letdown. It was a crisis of faith. We lived in a near parish, actually, and they passed out these uh, little pamphlets with uh, scriptural passages. And that day, I happened to pick up the text on our door, and it said something like, blessed are those who believe without seeing. And uh, I, was a, I was flooded with peace at that moment at 10 years old. And I took it as a message from God. And, uh, and I decided to believe. How does trusting God make me feel whole? You know, trusting God, uh, I think it means an unshakable belief in something or someone. And uh, what trusting God reminds me of is that um, I'm very limited. When your faith is being tested, it feels like fear. <laughs> it feels like the ground on which you stand is no longer holding you. I discovered at some point that my faith was supposed to be tested. It's okay to not have all the answers and it's okay not to be strong all the time. And um, that something outside of yourself is going to, to uh, complete you and make you whole. So when your faith is being tested, uh, yes, it's scary. Yes, it's unsettling. But it's also there's hope in that, that out at the end of that, you'll discover maybe a new facet, a new face of God. And usually, um, it's always a face of God that's, that's full of grace and full of, of His love as well, too. So even though I'm not 10 years old anymore, I still expect for God to show up. My name is Sabine Vettel, and my trust in God helps me feel whole. You can learn more about the Creation Health Principles by visiting adventhealthwaterman.com. Finally, some in the community took a break from their day to check out a special visitor in town. The Advent Health number 42 car made a detour to Advent Health Waterman during Race Week Daytona. Fans took pictures with the race car and enjoyed a cool treat. And even got a chance to take a virtual reality tour of the Daytona International Speedway. Visit this website to find out more about the Advent Health race car. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Waterman Wellness, your pathway to whole person health, body, mind, and spirit. Be sure to watch for our next episode right here on Lake Sumter TV. To learn more about the experts featured on this program, please visit watermanwellness.com. Until next time, I'm Kristen Ludeke for the award-winning Waterman Wellness.